Hello everyone, my name is Pam Cartsville and I'm the Teen Librarian here at Pomona Public Library. So today I would like to talk to you about Oceans of Possibilities and a fun craft that you can do at your library, you can do this as a take and make, you can do this for teens, you can do this with older elementary kids, and you can do this as adults. It's a fun, family-friendly craft and some folks don't know how to do it. So we're going to talk about poor painting. So right now, I have a canvas here. It's an eight by 10, as you can see, plain white. All right, so then I've got two small cups. They're about one and a half ounces each. I like to use some small cups because the paint comes right out of these and then you don't have the waste of the paint all over a larger cup. I've got four different kinds of ready-mixed pour paint right here. If you don't have ready mixed pour paint, please don't worry. You get a lot of acrylic paint, that's all you need. You need a little bit of this, you need a bottle like this, and you need some pouring medium. You mix the paint with the pouring medium in a separate bottle until it is pourable to your liking, and then you just use that paint as you would anything that comes in the kit. All right, so let's get started. The first thing I am going to do is I'm going to fill up my cups. So some of these bottles are brand new, so forgive me while I take off the tops here. All right, so I want a bit of blue, this color blue, in both of them. I'm going to layer up a little bit and get some green. I have opened some of my cabinets, so forgive me. Alright. Alright, there we go. Alright. I'm just going to layer that right on top. You notice I'm not stirring this in because I don't want them to mix too much in the cup. I want them to um, pour at different rates onto the canvas. So then I've got a bit of gold. And um, this is, for me, just a little accent color. I like to have a little gold wave in there. It just adds to a little bit of fanciness, I think. I'm just going to add a little to both of those cups. Now, if you wanted to, you could, of course, do this in different orders with colors. Or you could put different colors in different cups. That's perfectly fine, too. However you want to order up your cups is fine. I'm not even going to uh, worry about putting more um, of this blue in that one. I'm going to just fill this one up with more blue. So you're going to want to fill these cups fairly full, I would say. But this method is a whole lot less wasteful than larger cup methods. So don't worry too much about waste. All right. Okay, so very quickly, you can take one cup, invert that way, and you can drag it around a little bit if you want, or you can just pick it up and plop it over. That's fine too. All right, and then I'm just going to take this one and very quickly invert and pull up. Okay. So now I kind of have these two blobs of paint. All right, so perhaps not the most attractive looking of things, yes? But then we start to kick that paint around. And you're gonna move this around. Now, you didn't notice before, I hope you noticed that I'm working on a covered desk of, of paper. I even have a liner under the paper so if any paint soaks through, paint soaks through, it's gonna, um, gonna be taken care of um, and not, not go through to the, to the desk. It's got that line underneath. All right, now you can see all these lovely colors that I mixed in um, starting to play together in a nice, fun way. So, 
You're gonna make noise when you do this. Not everybody realizes how noisy pour painting can be, but here we go. See how messy it is too? Something to keep in mind. knocking it around until we have it just the way we want it. Um, if you like where it is and you just don't want to move paint around too much, you can use your finger and do like what we call a dirty pour and just touch up corners if you just don't want to move paint from where it is now. Uh, I've got some spots I rather like so I think I want to kind of put one ahead. All right, so there we have that. Now, this is a perfectly lovely portrait, and I like it a lot. Um, it's got a lot of ocean colors, doesn't it? So, I can leave this just the way it is, and that would be lovely. But if I want to make this a little bit more special, what I can do is I'm gonna just kind of put this up on the cups that I used. So it's flat and can drain, and it's going to drain. So you know, don't don't be afraid of it um, dripping. It's, it needs to drip, and it's nice if you can elevate it um, a little bit so it doesn't stick to the paper that you put it on. Trust me, I've I've stuck a few poor paintings on paper, so it takes 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 some experience to know this. But all right. So once, once you kind of have it the way you, the way you want it, um, you can, if you are so inclined, take, um, take say a 3D printed starfish. I have one right here that I kind of like. So I could um, put that, say, in the middle of my 3D uh, or in, in the middle of my pour painting to add uh, to the fun. Conversely, if you don't have any 3D prints handy, we've got some um, little crabs here. They might be kind of fun to pop into the ocean. Matter of fact, I think I might just do that with him. So maybe he's here at the beach. And if you put him straight into the wet paint and let him dry in there, you won't need any adhesive. He'll just stick right there. So there he is, there's my little crab having a great old time. Um, so if you have these little animals around, especially you teens who might have grown out of some toys, this is a great way to repurpose some of your old things into beautiful things that you can have in a display capacity rather than a play capacity, if that makes sense. So this is poor painting, this is how it works. You want to leave your painting alone for about 24 hours and let it dry, and then it's ready for display. You can hang them up, you can put them on easels, but whatever you do, enjoy them. They don't have to be perfect, anyone can do them, and you don't have to be a great artist to enjoy yourself doing these. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.